Lastly, Philip, what's in store for data governance over the next 6 to 12 months? Yeah, let me answer that question in terms of TDWI members and what a lot of them are doing. You know, uh, when I joined TDWI five years ago, uh, the membership was just going whole hog into data governance. It's been a big issue for them and also an area of success. And so I think of many of them who've worked through certain uh, life cycle stages uh, uh, toward maturity. And, uh, you know, when data governance is successful over time, they tend to add more stuff to it. So uh, they tend to uh, govern more data sets, govern the data that goes with more applications. Those applications and data, they're owned by business units, so you're also governing these business units and the business processes that go with them. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a process of accretion, isn't it? You just add more and more to it, the way, the way that a lot of applications tend to soak up more users and so on and so forth. So, uh, also, um, uh, they tend to expand. Uh, a lot of data governance uh, committees will begin with a focus on business issues around compliance, security, data privacy. Uh, and then expand over into technology issues like policies for data standards, for data models, uh, for data architectures and so forth, or they may go vice versa. So I see a lot of our members, regardless of where they started, expanding into this other broad area. So uh, I, I think uh, for our membership, since data governance is fairly established in them, for them it's really a, a process of maturing in the next couple of years into governing more data, more applications, more business processes.